Great. You have great microphones. Much better than mine, probably. <laughs> Welcome. Now, we need to get you here to us. Are you in the uh, server? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm starting the game. Uh, just give me a second. It, it's been a busy day. I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. We're just uh, grateful to get some of your very precious time, aren't we, Kerbo? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for taking the time out. Sure, no problem. Uh, you will have to give me an uh, address of the server. One second. I'm not sure if you have sent it all, sent it already. Uh, I, I received so many messages that, <laughs> you know, it's really, really, really hard to keep keep track on everything. Uh, uh, literally, bet. yeah, literally the, the whole day today I was answering uh, uh, messages messages on Twitter, and I'm still not halfway done. So you know, it's it's getting a little bit out of hand for me. You are amazing with the level of openness you have for the community. Um, it, it, it's it's mind blowing, and yeah, you know, I, I don't know about you, Kerbo, but it, it does worry me a bit. Yeah, you, know, you look at the burnout that some of the DayZ devs had um, with being so open. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, it can become a full-time job. Just mm, yeah, being on social media. Yeah. yeah uh, well, you know, uh, I didn't expect that it will be, uh, you know, this this uh, difficult. I <laughs> do like uh, tweet Twitter a lot. I do like uh, like how it works. Uh, it so, sort of suits my personality, so which is great. Uh, yeah. I, I I'm actually not trolling people, uh, although it seems like I'm trolling. I'm just being sarcastic most of the time because I'm <laughs> an old guy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, especially uh, especially when we, uh, let me just start start the game, uh, when we were really close to the release and we had so many issues regarding, uh, especially server, this build machine that we're having that basically died on us like day before. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, at one point, people start complaining. Uh, they're not like a lot of them, but you know, five or six of them. And it was really hard to, uh, you know, to, to, you know, have some sort of reasonable conversation, uh, logical conversation. I understand the passion from their side and everything, but for me, at that point, it was you know like too much. And I was just like at that point, I was just thinking, you know, uh, that maybe I didn't have to open Twitter or anything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Because it was really, really hard to communicate with people, you know, who just don't want to listen to reason. Uh, and oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, game is starting. I have a little bit slower PC also at, at, at <laughs> work and home. I, I, I like to keep it like old school, you know, Windows Seven, uh, uh, like uh, low tier PC, just to have things under control, you know. Uh, yeah. I don't want uh, 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 that our content department gets a little bit ahead of it. You, you need to speak to your boss and ask him to get you a better PC, mate. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't have, I don't have issues with that. You know, it's just like uh, um, when, when, you, when you're working on the, game, the games, and then performance is something that you have to worry about. And, yep. and uh, uh, most of the people here in the office have like much more powerful, powerful PC and they like to uh, play around with settings and everything so in some cause some cases they forget about the optimization so uh, i i play the game constantly and you know i'm sort of this like uh, uh alarm when uh <laughs> when the game doesn't work properly at my potato pc back at home or here at work uh then i you know start making noise and people you know start thinking again about uh, uh you know our users that don't have like uh, uh, top end PCs also, which is yep. which is important. Uh, uh, let me just get on the server. Just a second. Okay. Uh, again, I'm sorry uh, about the delay. I had like uh, just one short meeting before, and uh, it, it's supposed to be like a couple of minutes, but it ended up being like almost half an hour, which is. Uh, something that happens uh, often. Okay. 
No problem. There's no such thing as a short meeting in development. No, we, we just start uh, started having meeting uh, meetings about uh, what we will be doing for the 0.6 and 0.7, and we're still in the phase with uh, you know uh, mostly arguing with each, with each other <laughs> about features and everything. Uh, we didn't determine anything specifically, but we have have like uh, some priorities. Uh, but the thing is that we had one on the Monday, we had one yesterday, and we will have another one after this interview also, until we you know sort of uh, uh, make uh, let's say final pick final features, final decisions for for uh, next two two big updates. Now, I just put a gun on the table there for you, Kerbo, just in case we get any unexpected visitors, any uh, puppets decide to um, pop in. Okay, okay. sure. Okay, got it. Uh, uh, I'll be in the game in a couple of minutes. I, I, I have a game on, on hard drive here, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it, takes, it takes a bit to load. Uh, but as I said before, I like to, to, to keep things, you know... Uh, uh, realistic because a lot of people that are playing uh, our game uh, don't have uh, top top yeah. PCs uh, and uh, not not and we did we did push a little bit with with graphics with with uh, environment with everything we sort of uh, uh, you know uh, did optimizations for the game but uh, people with low end graphic cards do have some issues uh, unfortunately. Uh, at, at some point, this is this is the price of the progress. You know, you, yep. you simply cannot. You know, if if you have a third and you polish a third, you you will just have a polished third, nothing else. You know, so uh, if you try to make things better, you know, uh, better looking everything, then you have to sacrifice something. Okay, I'm I'm here on the on the server. Uh, you can you can uh, teleport me. Uh, I see that this is like first person only. Yes, it is. Server. Only, oh, way to, only, only way to play the game. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Uh, you're hardcore players, great. Uh, so my nickname is uh, Deda Stojko, uh, D-E-D-A-S-T-O-J. Sorry, what is it? D-E... If you just... Uh, D-E... D-E-D-A... Yep. S-T-O-J-K-O. Yeah, you 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 found me. <laughs> That's it. This means actually uh, grand, Grandpa Stiffy. So in, in in our you know Balkan language. So just yep. let you know. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're perverts. Bunch of like, old like, farts. I like it. Yeah, let's <laughs> not like that. Yeah, like old farts. We like. To, I like to have jokes on on me as as uh, you know anybody else. So. <laughs> Hey, there we are. You just dropped in. Hey. Oh, oh, you have a nice Many day. Hour. Yeah, hello. The, I will take, take a seat. The castle is almost like you guys designed it with someone making a base out of it in mind. We, Because we've got loot turned down, it's taken us a long time, you know, three weeks, I think, to get it to the status in. But it's just, it is such a beautiful location to turn into a base. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so so this is probably uh, I I think that we on vanilla service our officials don't don't allow uh, building here. Yes. But uh, yeah, so you have probably allowed allowed it. But yeah, it looks fantastic. It looks great. You know, yeah. I'm I, I I actually seen it for the first time. Something like that. It 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 looks like it fits naturally in the game, which is which yeah. is you know good. <laughs> yeah, like the walls just cover up the holes in the um, castle walls when you build them. It's just. It, it was, uh, I, I found this um, only just the other day. I'm a, um, a latecomer back to Scum. I bought it when it first came out. Um, moved away from it, just kept on playing DayZ. And then um, a mate of mine who streams Rhino uh, convinced me to give it another try. And my, my, first take, my first game back, I was, what the hell is, oh, it hasn't gotten better. But I, I sat there and I went, I could see some promise in it. And... Yeah, you know, Kerbo was uh, making videos, and Kerbo is someone who I've always admired and looked up to uh, as a content creator. And I thought, if he's playing it, there's got to be something to it. And I stuck with it, mm. and my God, I'm addicted. Uh, I am absolutely addicted to playing Scum. It's it's just there's so many little aspects of the game that um, 
So good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of the and same. It, I took a, a pretty long break and I've last few months we've gotten back into it. Yeah, well, you know, th th that's 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 okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm playing it also regularly, uh, but uh, uh, from time to time I also need uh, to take a break from the game. Uh, you know, then I probably uh, I'm still like developing the game, obviously, but think uh, thinking more about the future features and everything. So uh, uh, it is it is fully understandable. We don't expect people to play the game like uh, constantly. Although we have players with a lot of hours and everything, but uh, uh, the whole point is that uh, uh, yes, uh, the game has to be done in the way that uh, players should be able to sort of live uh, on the island to have like multiple things to do. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, and with the future updates, we will introduce even more stuff that will include uh, more like PvE elements, which is something that uh, uh, I believe a majority of true survival players will appreciate. Although, you know, PvP is a uh, part of uh, the whole thing and everything, but, you know, uh, PvE and role-playing is uh, something which is quite important for uh, uh, survival communities uh, 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 of any game, of any game. That's I'm not sure what, what, your, what your opinion. That's one yeah. of the things I love is uh, what you just touched on there before of, of how many things there is to do, how many places of interest. Um, just you know, even something down to almost every item. I still haven't found a use for a pen or a razor. Uh, razor, obviously, for cutting, but no, nah, who's going to carry a razor when you can carry a bushman knife? Nearly okay, every cool, single yeah. item in this game, it's like you've got a thought of what can this item do to make this game better? And that just blows my mind. Uh, yeah, uh, there are definitely items that did, still don't have uh, a function uh, in the game. Uh, they do have function design in, in the game design document and they will get function uh, uh, eventually in the game. Uh, but, the, the you know, the whole point of... Uh, you know, uh, come uh, and any other survival game uh, uh, should be not just like uh, having a little bit more complicated deathmatch game. That's not the whole point for, at least not for me. Uh, you should have like uh, times where obviously you can engage other players and there is, uh, you know, a huge satisfaction in, uh, let's say, uh, uh, attacking and defeating another clan uh it can take for days hours you know months even to to plan this kind of thing but yes. uh, there should be also a, a, a period of relaxation and doing you know s other stuff mm -hmm. which uh, which is more like what we do in real life uh and these kind of things might be you know like uh, totally non non important for unimportant for uh, majority of uh, you know uh, gamers from the perspective of other games but in survival genre it's just you know being there living on this island uh, uh, is uh, give you give you uh, gives you much more de depth in in uh, in the whole experience if you if you can do uh, uh, other stuff other than uh, just like uh, take a weapon and kill other players and that's one of the things I love about a Kerbo, just how the sheer variety of things like watching your single player um, uh, adventures mate it's just been I haven't felt this way about a game in quite some time uh, yeah, yeah we, I, we, uh, mm -hmm. I was just going to say I, I, one thing I, I love about Scum being more of a survivalist uh, is there's just there's just so much you can craft from the world yes. itself I, I even did a, a Naked and Afraid stream where I just started out naked with absolutely nothing and uh had the restriction on myself i could only use nature and the only mm -hmm. thing i ran into is is no bandages unless you're in the the right biome for the aloe vera plant but mm -hmm. everything else i could i could craft and make just from nature so yeah there's there's so many options in the game it's great yep yeah we, we, we will keep adding a lot of them you know, uh, also and improving uh, ex uh, current current uh, crafting system which uh, although you can do a lot of things, it's still uh, the user interface and how it works is basically crap. Uh, uh, it's not uh, intuitive. Uh, when you when you 
learn how things work, then you know you can you can obviously uh, find find your way to get around with crafting and everything. But uh, for new players, it can be a little bit com confusing. Uh, uh, some some people yeah, would say overwhelming. That, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, some people would say this is like a charm of playing the survival game because you have to both learn uh, learn these kind of things that uh, are, are in other games uh, sort of, uh, you know, taken for granted, like uh, whole, you know, all, all other games are most focused on simplicity, uh, simple game loops that uh, go, you know, repeat themselves and everything, and that they're just like wrapped in different levels, different encounters, different bosses and everything. Well, here uh, it's a little bit different. But then again, I have uh, my, my son is uh, will be 11 years old this year. So he started playing the game with uh, when he was like eight or something. And uh, initially, before he started started playing, he was watching a lot of videos, especially from Raikit and, oh, and, uh, and, 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 and mm -hmm. Eroctic. And he learned everything about the game from watching YouTube videos because uh, obviously today what we sort of lack as uh, game developers because we uh, uh, we are constantly pushing features in the in the game uh, we, we're trying to push them as, as as much as possible and sort of uh, 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 don't do like support like. Uh, um, uh, tutorials and stuff like that. This will come later in the game. So, uh, uh, whole our streamer streamer community is really really great because basically they teach uh, players about the game, about the possibilities, about the things. Uh, uh, some things uh, even I for forgot that they are like in the game. And I remember that uh, uh, we were building the base, and uh, I, I was searching for barbed wire. And uh, it was really, really hard to find it. And my son told me, no, no, dad, basically you can craft barbed wire from the ordinary wire and, and nail, something like that. And I was, yeah, yeah. you know, really, <laughs> it worked. And, you know, it's, it's uh, the, the, the game is so huge that, you know, even, 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 even I, you know, me as, 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 a, as a game designer, I sometimes I can forget about things that, that uh, are in the game. So, uh, uh, you know, regarding that and the streamers, they're like great, great guys, all of them. And we're really grateful because they basically uh, are doing a lot of lot of work for us uh, and, and sort of uh, uh, bridging this gap between players and the game, which is which is great. So the actually my son- have given yeah. to the streamers is amazing. Um, yeah, there's not many games out there. Um, I know Escape from Tarkov um, has been doing some stuff, but yeah, you guys have got a very small, loyal bunch of content creators who've stuck with you through thick and thin. And to see you guys rewarding them with their own items in game and you know giving interviews out, like you, know, you gave Turbo and I an interview, and we're we're two nobodies in the scum community. Um, but the work the work you're doing for the, the marketing side of things is just amazing. It's, it's next level. Uh, well, you know, I, w <laughs> I wouldn't call it the next level. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we have uh, maybe different like uh, approach than uh, other companies. We are not a big company and we are not like corporation or something like that. So uh, uh, although I'm I'm in game development for almost 30 years, uh, this is my second company. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's like a family business yep. and mm -hmm. we, we, are, we, are, we are trying to keep it like that. And this is something that what we actually are doing is that uh, and it's similar to many other family businesses uh not you know directly like in game development but you know stores and everything and when you have businesses like that they're always more like uh, uh you know uh, open uh to customers in different way than when you go to big shopping uh, uh you know like uh, centers or something like that so uh Basically, when when I when I uh, when I talk to people and I really I really try to uh, you know to answer all the questions that come to me, uh, I really treat people you know like I would treat anybody else that I meet uh, uh, in the office on the street. So there is no like uh, need for uh, you know approaching me with uh, uh, you know. Uh, 
with fear or something like that, you know, that uh, I'm somebody special and something like that. No, I'm just ordinary pe person. And if you're sort of respectful towards me and my time, uh, then basically, you know, I, I will be the same towards you. So n no problem from, from my si side whatsoever. I love the comment um, he's made, Kerbo, about uh, how he treats Twitter like his house. Um, I did some research. I watched Ray Kitt's interview and uh, Tyrone's interview with you, and both times it came up about how you uh, view Twitter as like the front door of your house. If people come up, knock on the door, and are respectful, you'll be respectful back. If they knock on the door and start yelling at you, then you got to tell them to go get fucked. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, uh, and uh, that's that's maybe maybe because I'm old. You know, I, I'm not you know like super old, uh, uh, but I'm almost. I, I, tomorrow will be my birthday, and I will be have like I don't know forty seven or something like that, which is decent decent age. Uh, but still, it's uh, I'm not like person who likes to. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit introvert. I I'm not like to be exposed. Uh, you know, I I have I value my family, value my uh, privacy and everything. So when I decided to open the Twitter account. Uh, 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 it it was uh, from completely different reasons. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so so the thing is that uh, we had issue with marketing. Uh, be before the game was released, uh, we were doing all the marketing for the game, and uh, unfortunately, we had to spend a lot of time creating all these uh, uh, tutorial videos, uh, development blogs, and stuff like that. So uh, uh, with, with a team of like uh, 12, 13 people, something like that, uh, development did suffer a lot because of that. Because when you want to make uh, you know ma materials for a presentation, they have to be in some uh, a format. They have to be in decent state. You don't want to just put like uh, a programmer art or, or, or crap that you basically coded in a couple of days. So you know you have to attract the attention. Uh, and when the game got released. It was in really bad shape. Uh, uh, we were fully aware of the state of the game and and the hype. Uh, we didn't. Uh, we, we we weren't aware of the hype that we created. <coughs> that uh, obviously uh, uh, was something that we learned later. Uh, and since this was like uh, my first game that was released in early access in all my career, I was uh, and not only me, but uh, uh, majority of our older. Uh, uh, older guys uh, uh, core team was a little bit embarrassed because we are you know publishing the game which is literally broken and l basically you know has many issues which is something that we didn't back uh, did do back in the past where uh, you know uh, we basically always developed the game then uh, uh, thoroughly tested it and fixed everything then eventually had like one or two uh, hot fixes or updates to fix fix some bugs because no matter no matter how uh, how much you uh, test the game uh, there are like still uh, issues that you cannot find because uh, you simply need a couple of thousand people to play the game to find everything but that was it and then you just switch to another game you know mm -hmm. uh, and it was completely different so uh, uh, back in the good old days <laughs> yeah and and and, and it's completely uh, different what? now in modern times absolutely so so from the matter of perspective of being professional and releasing something like that, I personally, I would never release uh, the game which we released in early exit, but back then we, we didn't have any options. So uh, uh, it, it literally came to, 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 the, to the fact that we, we had earned enough money uh, uh, that we can basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, stop talking about the game, finish the 1.0 version and release proper game. But uh, uh, Early access is actually a wonderful thing. Although many, uh, many uh, developers have uh, sort of, you know, did it in the wrong way. Uh, early access basically gives you opportunity really to create the game along with huge amount of, uh, 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 well, <laughs> guinea pigs, testers, <laughs> sorry to, to, to say like that, but basically uh, with, with huge uh, amount of community to share not only, you know, to, to not just use them for testing the game, uh, but basically to share the ideas and everything. And uh, if I can describe how this uh, development of SCUM is going, basically if you, if you can imagine like having a marble, you know, on the floor and, and what we are basically doing, we are like pushing 
let's say developers uh, we are pushing this marble towards a specific area and then uh, we, we receive let's say uh, feedback from the community which sort of uh, started to starting to push you know uh, the marble in a little bit you know to the left or to the right so uh, we are basically pushing this project together in in uh, uh, in direction where you know majority of uh, you know both us and, and our community will be happy eventually when it gets there uh, we would definitely not be able to do this kind of project without uh, help of first you know community second help of streamers so uh, uh, this is sort of you know once per life opportunity i would probably uh, uh, had to have like good rest uh, before I decide to do do another early access game. Uh, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't go. Uh, I, de I, I definitely wouldn't go in the same way. So if I ever decide to do another early access game, I would probably do the game which is like eighty to ninety percent finished before publishing uh, the game, and then polishing the last ten percent so that the game gets finished in let's say one year. I think that's the that's the currently the best way to do early access games. I I would never release the game uh, uh, like we released come two years ago. No way. Uh, uh, there are like uh, uh, certain things that when people get so excited about the game, and basically when they learn that the game is not what was advertised, although we did advertise, let's say. 1.0 version, but not, uh, uh, you know, what uh, is going to be released on early access. So we didn't lie. But still, you know, from from perspective of us developers, we also have like dreams and everything. And, and uh, uh, we are like football players, you know, like soccer players. I'm not sure how you call you have like uh, 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 rugby. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, yeah. You, I'm not sure what is more popular, rugby or, or, or a soccer or a football. I don't know how you call it. But basically, we're, we're like, we're like uh, you know, like soccer players. So if you have like a huge audience cheering you up, then morale and everything is much better. And you can do a lot, a lot of things like having this an additional uh, player from the audience. And if you have like audience who is uh, trashing you all the time, uh, so that basically you know that there is like a lot of work that you have to do, and you constantly get like uh, bad remarks, uh, insults, and everything. It get it gets much much harder, and you have issues. So, sure. so this is this is this is something that we sort of tasted after early access released. Uh, but you know what helped us that we are not uh, in this business for a couple of years. We already had. Uh, you know, our up, ups and downs uh, with the company, with everything. Uh, uh, during our last project, we, we just had like an extraordinary amount of bad luck constantly, uh, which uh, led us literally uh, almost three times to go bankrupt, which is terrible, uh, terrible thing. So uh, uh, we're really like in the trenches all the time and we're really hardcore developers in it's not really hard. Uh, uh, it's not really easy to scare us uh, uh, and and you know intimidate us, and that we get scared and run away. So uh, uh, we made, you know, very simple decision uh, back then uh, when the game got released. We said, you know, to ourselves, we couldn't tell that to to the audience, to the community. You just dropped out then. Guys, can you hear me? Yep, can hear you again. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have a wireless uh, a phone, so yep. they, they lost the power. So uh, what, what what I was saying is that at that point, we, we sort of uh, told ourselves that what we have to do, uh, uh, you know, right now after the release, that we have to prove to our community that we will keep working on the game, that we will make so many updates and so many content updates and everything that eventually people will realize that uh, uh, what's the direction of the game and where the game is going to and that mm -hmm. it will be the best survival game and uh, during this period of two and almost half years we released more than 150 updates hot fixes everything which is by far more than you know any other game any other and, and you you're feel feel free to to look at daisy dead matter i don't know uh, uh Escape from Tarkov, uh, Dead Side, 
and just compare how many things have they done after the release uh, compared to us. So, See, um, this, how this have you guys uh, gone since 0.5 has dropped? Uh, how many updates? Uh, we had like, uh, I think, one hotfix uh, yeah. last, last week. Last week. But how has so, the uh, drop been received uh, by the community? I know I've been very happy with it. Um, uh, abs absolutely great. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's actually much, much better than uh, I expected. Uh, I, I, did, I do have like low expectations. So, <laughs> you know, I, again, uh, something that happens when you're older. But uh, regarding the amount of players that uh, is currently playing the game, which is always a good, a good, good uh, indication of how the game is, uh, 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 the condition of the game and how the game, if, if it's good or not. Um, I think that last weekend we had more than 25,000 uh, peak uh, over the weekend, which is, uh, 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 if you compare this with number of copies sold, it's at least two times more than it should be. So it's great. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are, uh, uh, you know, like watching CCUs of other games. Usually people do. So uh, uh, from, from uh, some reason, people always like are scared if, if the game is dying or uh, it's, it, it's not like happening with just us, but all other, you know, especially MMO games and uh, uh, before you know buying purchasing the game playing the game uh, uh they uh, just go out to check what, what what are the players numbers and you know what developers are doing and it's always like still there's like always like scared that you know maybe if that is is come dying or maybe if daisy is dying or what's happened with the game or <laughs> you know uh, i'm not sure why people are burdened with this kind of thing but uh uh if you if you if you're like uh, thinking in a way, okay, these guys sold like two millions of uh, of, of copies, and they have like uh, just twenty thousand or five thousand, you know, uh, whatever uh, current players, uh, you know, and you think so, what what's what's the rest of the you know like what the rest ninety nine percent of players why why are not not that, that they're mm -hmm. playing the game you know what's 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 with them, so it doesn't work like that. They're like formulas that you you need to know, uh, 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 you know, to make the calculation of how many you know CCUs you will have, uh, uh, depending on the amount of uh, copies sold. So uh, uh, we had, and that this this is something that comes from the experience. We have many you know games published, so we basically know uh, when when we have a certain amount of of, of copies sold, then we can expect a certain amount of uh, people playing the game. Now, if you look at games that are uh, not like MMO games, uh, uh, for example, like, like Doom Eternal, which is a great game, and you can, you can look at it right now and see how many CCUs they have. If they're not on sale, they'll, they'll probably have less than 1,000 you know, players playing the game. Uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, and we are talking about a AAA title, which sold in let's say 10 to 15 million copies, most likely. I'm not sure about the number, but I, I believe it's more than 10 millions. So, uh, 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 you know, uh, does that mean that the, the Doom Internal is a bad game? No, it's completely different type of, of the game. And, you know, it, it has a single player campaign. It can be played in, let's say, fully, you know, experienced in, let's say, 20 hours. It doesn't have a lot of uh, replay value. So, uh, you know, uh, when, when they get on the sale, they have a huge spike in number of players and then it drops. Obviously, this doesn't apply to, you know, survival games. But if you, if you take a look uh, uh, to, well, the most played genre right now, which is probably PvP, Battle Royale, like PUBG games. So PUBG went in 15 million, something like that. It was like a couple of, uh, maybe two years ago when I, when I read it uh, uh, somewhere in the, uh, on the web. So... Uh, when you look at their numbers, uh, you will see that, you know, compared to the amount of copies sold, and they're like still selling the game good enough that they're like constantly in the top 20. So that th this means that, uh, you know, depending on the price, they're probably selling like, uh, let's say, uh, from 1,000 to maybe 5,000 daily copies. Uh, so, you know, 
if you look at that logic, uh, then uh, they with 50 million copies sold, they should be have like uh, you know five, six million players. But it doesn't work like that. It it's it's simple. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not simple, but it basically have some rules that you know don't apply. That necessarily this amount of copies sold with will generate the same amount of players. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It depends on many different things. And, and uh, uh, you would be amazed how many people just buy the game because it's on sale and basically never, uh, uh, you know, turn it off, turn it on. So uh, uh, people shouldn't be worried about, uh, you know, if the game will be, you know, dead or not. It's not the point. Uh, you're just losing time. If you want to play the game, go buy the game and play the game. Enjoy yes. yourself. If you, if, you, if you get tired of the game, take a break, play another game. Especially, especially with a game like Scum, uh, like games that are in development, you know, uh, sort of. Uh, I, I believe that in the next couple of months, months, uh, you know, uh, before the next update, people will already uh, g get accustomed to what we have, and especially before the wipe, they will start, you know, uh, uh, taking a break from the game, not because they don't want to play the game. Basically, they want to get, you know, oops, I unplugged myself. I'm sorry. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. I have technical issues. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> basically, you know, basically they just want to you know uh, rest a bit and wait for a new stuff. So you know, it's completely normal. Uh, interesting thing is that not only you know like ordinary players are not aware of these kind of things, just uh, readings through uh, Steam charts uh, in 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 a proper way. Uh, we we also have like. Um, uh you know our maybe future partners have the similar issues so uh, i'm i'm talking about people who are in the game business uh, like uh, managers and everything financial guys that are literally reading this kind of things completely wrong so uh, uh they they even don't bother to understand uh you know how this uh uh copy sold uh amount of copy sold relate to number of players to growth of the community to growth of streamer community also which is something that you mentioned before that we uh, are really proud to have like small community but you know uh, uh we, we who are following us in in uh you know uh, thick uh, thick or thin situations so uh, uh you know this kind of things is something that we are pretty much unique because we are uh, literally uh I would say down to earth to notice these kind of things and to sort of use them. And these are like, not like big steps. You know, if you're talking about the marketing, then the big step would be uh, that uh, sort of, I decided we will spend 1 million US dollars to uh, invest in, let's say maybe streamer promotion, stuff like that. And this is like a big step and that, that, that this will like sort of reflect to a number of copies sold. But small steps are uh, uh, more like linked with guerrilla marketing so we don't have like uh, uh much of uh expenses uh regarding the marketing uh simply because sorry uh, uh simply because we want to uh uh keep uh, our resources uh uh you know uh, around development around features around the content uh around building up community so we are making small steps but we are sort of uh, 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 gaining on the long run with that. So uh, 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 to be honest, when I see the numbers uh, that are, you know, of players that are uh, uh, currently playing the game, uh, even before 0.5, uh, uh, I didn't expect that we, we would go over 10,000 uh, players this year. You know, I didn't expect that. I was, I was sort of hoping that eventually at the end of the years, we will have something like that. But uh, ob obviously, you know, people have recognized the game, that the game has passed a certain point, which, uh, uh, you know, they accept, uh, uh, accept it as a, as a much better, you know, product that they can really uh, enjoy themselves much more and, you know, sort of forget about this, like, issues, bugs that we have currently in the game. So hopefully it will get even better. Because your numbers are growing. I'm looking at the uh, Steam charts right now on my phone. Um, and, 
you know, you're, you're basically doing a, a Day Z style uh, revival, um, and it, it's really impressive. You know, your, your opening numbers were great. You know, eighteen thousand, and then it dropped off very quickly because um, you, you've, yeah. you've been quite public yourself with saying you weren't happy with the state it was released in. But you know, you're now back up over ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we have uh, somewhere. Uh, uh, you know, when, when you look at the Steam charts. Uh, they're like taking samples each couple of hours, so mm. they're not like showing, uh, you know, extremes. Uh, but since we are using uh, easy anti cheat and and basically easy anti cheat is, uh, uh, you know, we're paying it per user, literally. So we have, uh, you know, uh, we, we have exact number of people that play are playing the game each day, so we can monitor this this kind of things. Yep. So we uh, we sort of have like. Currently, uh, average number of uh, daily players, if it's during the, if it's not like a weekend during the week, is around fourteen to fifteen thousand, which is absolutely fantastic. And then we have like peaks that goes, uh, well, let's say around twenty-five thousand. Uh, yeah. uh, what is quite quite important here to realize that uh, uh, this kind of thing uh, was done without uh, without any marketing. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, if if you stop hearing me uh, uh, signal because uh, my my uh, headphone started to update from some strange reason, okay, I will ignore. It. I will cancel it. It's good to have people uh, work with computers all day can still have problems, Kerbo. No, no, no. The thing is yeah. that with this, this I have I have Logitech Logitech uh, 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 these headphones, and the last time I did the update, I I, I sort of lost everything, uh, you know, in the settings, and and I learned that. Yeah, I don't want to make update for these headphones anymore. So uh, uh, let, let me let me. Uh, what I was talking about. Um, sorry, I, the I, numbers. I, it slipped me. Yeah, numbers. So uh, the thing is that we achieve this number numbers without literally any marketing. Uh, what what uh, uh, developers are considering uh, as marketing, like investment. Uh, all this thing actually happened as uh, you know. Uh, this other thing that you mentioned with our approach to community, with our approach to streamers and uh, to building uh, the stable, you know, uh, I wouldn't call it a fan base, but I would call them partners uh, on this project. So uh, uh, if we are in this together and if I have like thousands of people that are sort of, uh, uh, you know, following me and uh, uh, defending my opinions and, you know, believing in the product, then uh, I also have a, a obligation and responsibility to deliver this kind of thing. How, how do you think these people would feel if suddenly, you know, let's say uh, after a month or so, I just like quit working on the game and just stop, uh, you know, start ignoring, ignoring them or, you know, uh, changing my mind or something like that. I would lose this reputation instantly. You know, a reputation is something that is worth building in, in, in literally everything. But, you know, building reputation as a team is gr of great importance to us. So we definitely don't want to be treated like, you know, uh, uh, Daisy developers or, you know, other, other developers that made promises and didn't deliver. Of course, there are always things that, you know, you, you sort of want to create in a good faith, but you know, maybe they don't work. Maybe you have to fix them, but and some of them maybe you have to uh, remove from the game because they simply don't fit. So, uh, but you know, majority of things, majority of things uh, uh, that we actually planned, there they will be in the game. And and uh, uh, in parallel with that, we also implemented like hundreds of stuff uh, that uh, our you know community wanted from us. I literally get uh, feature requests each day. If they're like a smaller ones that we can squeeze in the uh, smaller updates that we call two weekly updates, then it's great because people can literally like uh, feel that basically they asked me something and you know uh, in, 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 in two weeks they got it in the game and uh, for them that was awesome experience because you know I'm not sure who, who does something like that. And you know, if they are like complicated, uh, then obviously uh, we need a couple of months to implement them. But majority of stuff that people want from us uh, are actually planned, which is absolutely fantastic because we know that we are on the same track. You know that we are building 
the product that actually people want to have which is great so uh, mm -hmm. this this reputation and this is something that we are really really careful careful about that uh, uh, is is uh, will also relate to you know our future uh, future product product and uh, it's it's of really high important to us importance to us because when we started uh, with working on scam uh, uh, Daisy back then was uh, in the really bad situation. Uh, it was uh, around thousands players or something like that. That's three thousand when it got down to. Yeah, something like that. It was really really low, and uh, we got a huge amount of uh, you know feedback. You know, uh, this is just another Daisy. This is the, these guys. Uh, you know, don't do that. You know, something like that. So uh, we had to fight against this negativity you know we had to build a product which is uh, uh you know so, somewhat unique and everything and we had like team which is probably uh 10 percent of the size of bohemia interactive so you know these kind of things are not really easy and uh, uh you cannot expect uh, uh you know from from you know perspective of, of our size and our resources to deliver uh, a quality product really fast so it needs some time the good thing about you know this uh, uh you know development everything that takes a lot of time is that you also have a lot of uh, time to present all the features in the game and this is why i'm sort of using my personal twitter account which again i i opened uh, uh just to prove uh i was saying uh, at the beginning that we had the marketing team uh, that basically when we released the game uh, we hired people for marketing and uh, they didn't do anything you know these were all young people uh, they you know I don't know I, I I don't want to say any bad things about them but you know they literally I don't know they had their ideas uh, of being a cool developer but I, I, I don't think that people want to want to hear about how cool we are uh, people want to hear about the features how fast we will deliver them and you know how you know fast we will we will fix fucking bugs so this this kind of things have to be delivered to to the audience and i sort of created my twitter to see uh, if if it can be done with with you know uh, with twitter properly because we we also have a, a scam game twitter and uh, mm -hmm. and currently is not of any use and uh, I was so much in development that I didn't bother with these kind of things. And, and you know, I, I, at a certain point, I started asking questions. You know, why, why, why our Twitter is dead, basically? Why don't we accept for, you know, a couple of messages? Uh, why don't we post anything? Why don't we push, uh, you know, news about the stuff that we're doing? Uh, uh, and, you know, it's, it's always, there, there's always like a reason. You know, not to do it. Uh, uh, it seems that all, all our guys back then, marketing guys, were uh, uh, expecting to make one move that will change everything. And I was, I was trying to explain them that that these kind of things should be done in the opposite, uh, you know, direction. That you don't. If it happens, if 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 if, you have, if it happens that you have you are lucky enough that you create one move and you know it gets viral, it's great. But it doesn't happen that often. Uh, everything that i did in my life was really hard work for a long period of time small steps but eventually if you're like uh, uh, persuasive if you like uh, stubborn enough then you will get there you know you, if, if you want to uh, to have a certain relationship uh, with with your community you have to invest time you mm -hmm. have to persuade people who are you know have been disappointed by many other developers by many other games that you will be different I understand that you know if you have a situation where you had like girl girlfriend and she she was cheating on you or what, or you had like boyfriend who was cheating on you I don't mind so whatever you like so basically that doesn't mean that uh, you know the next girl that you meet uh, uh, is a, is a, you know like the same person is a hooker or something like that is bad bad you know it doesn't mean that you know I'm, I'm joking right now I I you know uh, you understand yeah the we, thing we get that, what you mean. Yeah, yeah but the, the thing, but the thing is that you know, uh, uh, from the perspective of uh, you know, like uh, you know, ordinary average uh, you know gamer, average user, well, you know, if you if you get crossed a couple of times, then you get 
you know, cautious. Uh, you, you have trust issues. Uh, you know. Yeah. You want to see. You know, if 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 the guys are true to you, and you have to you you want to establish a, a good relationship with with you know uh, with with these people, if it's possible. I definitely don't want to be in, in contact with people who would constantly lie to me, who would steal steal from me. You know, nobody nobody wants that. So. Investing time in this kind of uh, media, especially on Twitter, for me is great. Uh, it, it suits me really, really well, and and uh, my needs. Although right now I have a lot of, you know, much more uh, things to handle that I can, but I'm trying. Uh, these kind of things take take time, and uh, if you look at uh, um, my current Twitter statistics, which I looked a couple of days ago. Uh, I, I, these these numbers are you know over the charts. Uh, I believe that some games don't have this kind of numbers, and and you know uh, personally, uh, I, okay, I understand that I have a product already. I understand that I have millions of players who you know know about the stuff and everything. So I didn't start from you know scratch. And I understand that people uh, rather like to talk with somebody, you know, in charge than, you know, like some, let's say, low-level community manager. But uh, uh, still, uh, uh, if, if you're a person, no matter if you're ranking, uh, a person that communicates with the community, so for community, you're God, Re really, because uh, uh, they basically, all their wishes, all their dreams, they they for the game goes through you so you have huge power but but you also have responsibility towards this community so uh, uh maybe i'm a little bit older that i can see these kind of things maybe the you know our young young um, you know colleagues cannot see these kind of things by themselves but this is basically you know the whole key uh, the whole uh, idea in in the communication that we have currently and uh I'm really satisfied with that because uh, I, I'm not sure how many I, I'm around four and uh, four and uh, four thousand five hundred followers, something like that. I had maybe five situation with with people who were really disrespectful, really, and uh, some of them apologized later, which is great. And uh, I still this is like really healthy and good relationship on the long run. Now we would be very very remiss because I know you're short on time. Um, but I do want to jump to a uh, certain tweet you dropped about a secret meeting. I've got the image up on my screen <laughs> at the moment. Um, okay. If we did not talk about this, I think there would be a riot in the uh, scum community. But the, the one thing in there that um, I, I, I saw, um, I know a lot of people were breaking it right down and going into the nitty-gritty of, you know, um, there were people trying to decipher whether things were written in different languages. Um, but the one thing, uh, Kerbo, that I saw was... Um, they're talking about console. Uh, what? Sorry. You mentioned console in the um in the document. Uh, did I? <laughs> uh, yeah, I I saw the people that are talking about the consoles, but I believe that we we didn't notice uh didn't mention anything about the console. Uh, well, uh, what can I say is that co consoles are planned. So Make this is something a new crafting could... menu that will have better overview and functionality and support for consoles. Yeah, yeah, okay, that part. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, the thing is that, uh, uh, yeah, consoles are planned. Uh, there are some things that are already working in that direction. I'm not, I, I'm not got in details uh, because uh, if I if I start talking about it that more, then I will just have more questions. Uh, uh, this, the thing with, with UI and design of UI, uh, when when you are doing uh, doing user interface, uh, uh, obviously uh, PC has mouse, you know, consoles have controllers, mm -hmm. so you have to think about uh, porting the game. And we definitely are planning uh, or having plans or maybe even working uh, on a console port. So we have to think that you know user interface is uh, both both supports uh, uh, you know uh, uh, consoles, both supports PC and localization, which is also quite important thing, because you know in German all 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 words are you know like fucking too long. So 
Well, but I think you're mad if you don't, because DayZ has proven, Kerbo, that there is a console market for a game like this. Yeah, it is. We know that from the from the like the first day. Uh, we were we were we were in the uh, negotiations with uh, Microsoft uh, literally from before early access. So we we are aware of the market, and we are still not sure if these like numbers are like uh, thousands, ten, tens of thousands, you know, like millions. So, uh, 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 but we are aware that uh, uh, people. You know, are playing this kind of game. Uh, several games will play the game on consoles, so that's not the issue. Consoles are planned; they will happen. Uh, hopefully, hopefully somewhere next year. But you know, you didn't hear that from me. So, <laughs> Kevin, have you got Time any questions, off. mate? Um. Not too many. I'm, I'm kind of a quiet person by nature, but I just I just have one request. When you go uh, mm -hmm. console, don't water down the game. Don't dump no. down the interface too much. No. Because I see no. that happen a lot in other games. No. Uh, uh, you'll probably see that the game uh, will get uh, much, well, harder uh, uh, and a bit more complicated with time. Uh, we definitely do not have uh, uh, resources to make two separate games, one for consoles, one for PC. Uh, I believe that uh, console players are uh, also smart guys, also, uh, you know, uh, uh, players who like to be challenged, uh, you know, with stuff and not just like, uh, you know, a couple of kids playing Fortnite. So. Uh, I'm not saying that Fortnite is a bad game. Uh, it's just like a completely different, different uh, type of a game. So no, no, no. We're 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 sticking to uh, what we are planning. Um, we know that a lot of people like PvP and that we have exclusively PvP versions of, of the game and and uh, you know with bots and everything, which is also fine. People should be able to. Uh, mod this game eventually uh, uh, when it gets opened for modding and we sort of look are looking forward to the day where uh, actually our community will you know make their own versions of scum uh, this will probably also be uh, 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 one step uh, on the ladder uh, which will sort of uh, multiply amount of players too because it happened basically with DayZ so uh, I believe that the same will happen with, with Scum or any other survival game. Uh, it yeah, also I think there's definitely a market there for it on console, for sure. Yeah, so don't worry. Uh, we will keep the game, uh, you know, challenging and interesting for uh, for many players. If if, you, if I can, I have I will have like next 15 minutes, so uh, we will try to speed speed things out a little bit. But if you if you look at the Valheim, which is currently really popular i'm not mm -hmm. i didn't see the numbers uh in the last couple of weeks but when it was released it was huge uh huge success and it was a really simple survival game very forgiving survival game uh didn't play it myself really don't have time to unfortunately to uh, to spend it too much on other games still but i, I like to see videos just to get acquainted with with what it offers now uh, uh some people compare it to uh uh minecraft of uh survival games so you mm -hmm. know simple graphics uh, simple features npcs uh you know randomized world forgiving and everything easy to get into for me uh, uh uh, although it's like totally opposite from our game, it's absolutely fantastic that, that, that this kind of game uh, exists because it will introduce uh, uh, new players in the survival. So some people who wouldn't, you know, dare to try Scum because it looks a little bit overwhelming, you know, a little bit too complicated. Uh, maybe they don't have uh, enough time to devote themselves to the game. Eventually, when they get, you know, uh, this like uh, 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 easy entrance to survival through Valheim, uh, will, you know, maybe decide to try something a little bit more complex, a little bit more challenging, uh, uh, with more depth and everything. So, for me, this is absolutely fantastic. 
and uh, I can see a lot of players from you know Valheim uh, eventually switching to uh, you know other survival games, not only Scum but DayZ, you know Rust, uh, which is not mm -hmm. that much survival, but it's more like PvP, you know. But absolutely great is that this kind of genre is uh, still live and kicking really and doing really well. And if you look at the look at the uh, whole players that are currently playing. Uh, uh, this like this type of games uh, uh, from let's say Scum, Busy, Ark, uh, uh, Rust, uh, Forest. Also, uh, you will see that the amount of you know player base across all these games are you know absolutely so big that it's literally uh, going uh, probably over uh, the numbers that some really huge AAA titles have, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, or similar. Mm -hmm. So, I believe that in future, the first developer that manages to make, I want to go too far to say like AAA survival game because AAA is, you know, complicated stuff. But let's say double A, which is really close to AAA quality, which is uh, which has like story and everything. Uh, will probably, you know, you know, do miracles. And this I think, is something I think that part is... of the success for you, though, has been because uh, it, it always gets brought up. But everyone, you know, um, I've got people in chat right now going on that you know um, this is going to kill Daisy. And um, if I when I talk in my Daisy podcast, you know, people say scum's nothing and all the rest of it. But I think the beauty is that you haven't just tried to imitate Daisy one for one. The, you know, there's so much. Oh. There's people say to me, "What's better?" And I say, "They're both great games. I'm not going to compare them because yeah. the only thing they have in common is their MMO survival games." There's yeah. dumb, exactly. Yeah, it, it took me a bit to get my head around it. Like, um, but rolling your character at the beginning, picking the attributes. Daisy, on the other hand, is everyone is on an equal playing field, barring you know maybe hardware and then the actual skill of the player. Um, whereas with Scum. Yeah, it's, it's almost a bit like an RPG in, in some aspects in that you choose certain attributes and strengthen those skills as opposed to other ones and you can get better at those skills. So it's very, yeah. very hard to, com to compare the two games. And it, it does frustrate me. You know, so that whole tribalism thing of uh, you know, coming back to what you were talking about before, people don't want DayZ to die, um, people want scum to grow and all the rest of it. But I just wish people could I accept both games for... But they are two yeah. truly amazing games. You know, Daisy opened the world for, you know, I always say Minecraft's the original um, MMO uh, survival game. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, Daisy really opened it up for a more hardcore, gritty, realistic style. And then you guys have just come in with this game that it, it's kind of taken me by blindside. You know, I don't know how um, you feel about it, Kerbo. Yeah, and a lot of people. I think they don't get the depth of scum. Like, for example, I, I watch a streamer that pre plays primarily DayZ, and he, he was trying scum a while back, and he hated the stamina system. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't realize what's going on under the hood. You have to, you know, proper nutrition, how you roll your character. There's just so much that goes into yes. that little stamina bar. Someone Which was I saying in my chat is casual. Just, I don't yeah, think it is yeah, casual. Yeah, yeah, casual. Well, it, it's, it can be both. If you don't want to min-max everything, you can just run to a bunker, grab a gun, and and play. Or you can be like me and hide out in the woods and maintain your nutrition and have fun yeah. that way. Yeah, they, I, they, I think that they, they, Daisy also has stamina right now. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm not, yeah, so, you know, I, I, the thing is that they basically, I think that they pick, picked it up from us, uh, uh, but that's also okay. The thing is that... Um, what I didn't like, uh, if you're talking about this specific thing uh, with AZ, is that everybody had run this with the same speed. You could chase somebody for hours. Uh, yep. The distance will not change. Mm -hmm. uh, these kind of things look a little bit arcadeish to me. So we changed the stuff, but we made it much, much more realis realistic. With, with, uh, with uh, new upcoming metabolism, you will see much more stuff. But the thing is, if I can go a step uh, back, uh, uh, the, the whole plan uh, of this uh, for us was is never to uh, and we never think it like 
uh, we will be a daisy killer. We don't, you know, we don't even think about this kind of things. This, this is something. Room for that, both. Uh, yes. This is something. Yes, there that, is. Yeah, this is something. Yeah, this is something that people uh, are constantly, you know, like burdened with. Uh, will this game kill, for example, Scum, or will this game kill Daisy? <laughs> no, we are, we, we, we are not. We are not. Uh, you know, we are developing our game. We are, we are developing with our community, trying to make something uh, outstanding, and we are definitely trying, and we will achieve to make the best survival game. This is the goal. If how this will relate to Daisy, I really don't care. You know, uh, uh, Daisy. Uh, I have decent amount of hours. I uh, I sort of more like studied it back then, as I studied the other survival games to see which elements are good, which elements uh, are not good. But you know, mm -hmm. uh, I never I never look at it, at it from the perspective I have to make a game that will kill Daisy. You know, that's not the point. But I love that and, you uh, are still aiming for the top. Yeah, you, know, you you have said before that yeah you, know, you you your your goal is Daisy and. I love that. You know, I'm, I'm a massive Daisy fanboy. Like I said, I do a fucking Daisy podcast. Every week, mm -hmm. I talk for between two to three hours about stuff that happens in the Daisy community. Um, I love the game. But, you know, it, it's just, yeah, it's so weird, this whole thing of, you know, you, you have to be one or the other. They're both great games. Um, although right now, Scum has got my attention 110%. It scratches itches for me that Daisy just can't. Daisy's more... Um, uh, what, what would be the word for it? More um, uh, simple is the wrong word, um, but the, the complexity of, yeah, you know, I've, I've been telling people one of the things I love the most about this game is your inventory system, how every item of clothing is assigned a weight of what it can carry, and then you can't put things in that go over that weight. You know, in Day Z, you can run around with a cooking pot in your bloody uh, pants, um, which makes for, you know, if, yeah, you put, you put things where you can. Yeah. Here, yeah, yes. You, you can multi layer clothing. Yeah. But, but you know, uh, again, uh, I think that uh, people are a little, little bit more like exaggerating with these kind of things. And uh, uh, they should try, you know, uh, all survival games. Uh, you know, uh, I believe that the all other developers are, you know, trying to make the best they can uh i'm not sure what Bo bohemia is currently doing with DayZ. uh you know uh personally i think that they could they, they had the opportunity to do much more uh but they obviously have their own plans so you know i'm i'm not aware of that and it's not any of my business really so uh yeah. we are fully we are, we are fully focused on scam uh we are we have goals we are uh you know have plans to do uh, we have managed to increase the game by 60% of, you know, the level size. So we are currently the biggest game made in Unreal Engine. Uh, if you compare this kind of thing with the mount with three different type of environments, so we have Mediterranean, uh, we have like uh, mainland and we have snowy areas. This is something that, that no other game have. Uh, we also have that. like... I weather love the three yeah. biomes that you've got. It's brilliant. Yeah, so we... We have weather system. You, you, basically, you know how it works. Uh, so uh, th these kind of things are putting, uh, you know, uh, well, you know, our con competition, uh, if there are like any competition, will have to work much harder. But in, in the end, uh, uh, the, the players will have the benefit. You know, that's the whole point of having, having you know, pros and cons to what you, what you will play, uh, to co even to compare what you get with the, with the money invested. If you if you think that I, I'm not sure what's the price of Daisy right now, but I think that our game is much cheaper. So uh, uh, you know you you can you can uh, see if if let's say spending I don't know especially on sale uh, I don't know twelve dollars or fifteen dollars depending on the country is uh, good enough for this game. And I think it's a, it's a bargain because we have players with ten thousand hours invest in the game. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, below. Let's say 300 hours of game time. Uh, uh, you you simply don't have. Uh, uh, you know, may, maybe maybe three to five hundred hours are enough to to see the basic of scum before you start really playing against other players. So you know, uh, if you go to the movie uh, movies and you pay like I don't know how 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 uh, how much do you pay there uh, in Australia, but basically. Uh, uh, you, if you if you pay like uh, twenty dollars for a two two hour movie, then you know 
compared to the game where for twenty dollars you can get get five hundred plus hours of game time, you know, for me that's great. You don't have to play game anymore, you know. But you know, for the for the you know, if if you compare how much you get and and uh, of excitement and everything uh, to how much you paid, I think it's a, it's it's a bargain. So yeah, well, you know, absolutely. It, completely, absolutely, it's. A great game, and um, yeah, I, I still say uh, to people, uh, Daisy's worth buying when it's on sale. Um, Scum is worth buying uh, when it's on sale, and if it's not on sale, it's just it's it's such a fun game. Yeah, the the complexity that you put into so many aspects of the game um, for people. Yeah, you know, there, there's there, there's there, there's been a few comments in um, chat about you know locking loot to a certain level and all the rest of it, but um, I love the fact that you aren't. Um, and it brings me to the next point that I wanted to talk about: when are we going to see um, the central loot economy tools? Uh, you're talking about the economy. Yes. Uh, like uh, yeah, the this is something that uh, we will try to do in the next update. I'm not sure. It's something that we are currently discussing. So, uh, as I said, I have a meeting after after this interview, and uh, we already seen the sort of examples of uh, people trying to make their own economy system in the game, and mm -hmm. obviously, people people definitely want this kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, it should be in the game uh, this year. 100%. So this is something that I can I can promise, except you know if 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 we got hit by a meteor or something like that. So we will we will we will put in the game definitely. Uh, uh, we will also uh, try to include this on a much, let's say, a little bit for for uh, at least for the beginning, a higher level than uh, what other games have, and that will include NPCs. And after that, we will start uh, uh, with. Uh, uh, adding uh, on this system, adding missions, which will also influence uh, the economy and everything. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, uh, it will be sooner, but if not, then it will be until the end of this year. Cool. Exciting stuff ahead. Very, very I have a exciting. Quick question if, if we have time. Yeah, oh, sure. Time to, okay. So, you want to make the best survival game. That, that's great. And something I've always wondered about Scum is a little bit of an identity crisis, maybe. Um, hmm. You know, a survival game, but there's military bunkers all over the map. So how, how hmm. do you see that working together as a survival versus a shooter, if that question makes sense? Yeah, so, yeah, it does make make uh, make sense. So the thing is that I'm not sure if you're familiar with the story behind the game. We didn't, uh, we didn't invest much time to... Uh, yeah, I've heard uh, the lore. Yeah, okay, you know the lore, uh, mm -hmm. but we didn't implement uh, the lore that much into the game, so many people who start playing the game still don't know uh, about the things, what happened on the island and stuff. But we didn't have time, and eventually uh, uh, these kind of things will come later when we get closer to 1.0 uh, 1. 1. 1. version, maybe even after that, because uh, missions, objects, and everything, and, and game closure that will be... Uh, 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 you know, very important because we we want to provide players with the options to finish the game, which is something that uh, okay. no other survival game has. Uh, right. It's 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 optional. So if you want to play the game, like uh, go and play PvP at, uh, against other players, that's fine. If you want to, you know, try to survive and more like uh, uh, you know stay aside uh, stay you know grow your crops do farming uh, fishing you know these kind of things more like pve but still like defend from other players that's also fine and if you want to you know like uh, um, explore the story follow the missions objective and eventually uh, uh, you know finish and escape from the island this should be also possible for players, but you know this is all this this sort of like we have like three different layers uh, of players that are playing the game constantly the, the, at the same time, and what we will try to do, and uh, uh, I'm not still completely sure how we will do it because you know until we start to uh, work on something, uh, we are not sometimes aware of the problems or possibilities. So what we will try to do is that we. Uh, sort of involve all these other players uh, or give them options to influence 
players who are trying to escape from the island. In a way, let's say that you get a mission, uh, one of the final mission to, to do something, and you know you sort of uh, have to go to the bunker, find find some stuff, and then you have opportunity to leave the island by, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, by using some boat or vehicle or aircraft. Then okay. you know come company gets aware of uh, what you're trying to do and sort of puts bounty on your head and other players are trying to stop you. So these kind of things are sort of uh, uh, like providing players who are not that interested in the story with little, you know, leads, with little, you know, uh, crumbs about the lore, about everything, so that maybe start the ask, asking themselves, uh, okay, how this guy basically managed to... Uh, uh, get out of the island or maybe to find these kind of things. So uh, uh, our idea is that we have like a uh, story and everything. And th this is related to bunkers because the bunkers are basically either uh, currently there are abandoned uh, facilities used by company. Uh, but eventually when we, when we include the story and everything, most of them will be like TV bunkers with personnel that is on the island broadcasting the show from the island which will get supplies and everything and you will be able to attack oh, them and stuff that's like interesting that. all right cool yeah we didn't have resources to make that uh, uh, up until well not sure. now because we, we still need to make ai and everything but some of them will be abandoned uh, we'll have not only puppets zombies whatever uh, that are currently in the game but they will have like much much uh, uh, more terrifying creatures well, as results of uh, bioengineering and stuff like that, that company was doing on the prisoners before the show. But also on these locations, you will be able to find uh, uh, clues or uh, necessary items that will eventually lead you to the option to uh, try to escape from the island. So these kind of things will be story related. Uh, it will be, it will get clearer as we, you know, started to implement these kind of things. Right now, these ploys are basically locations where you can find uh, a little bit better loot, you know, but we are using them in a way that we can use them uh, at certain point uh, of development. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for the explanation. I'm excited to see where we go with the, the whole uh, NPCs and missions and yeah, me too. Oh, me too. Trust me, me <laughs> too. I'm also, I'm also, I'm still not completely sure how it works, how it will work. I was uh, playing a lot, uh, not a lot, but you know, uh, a lot for me is like when I managed to play like 10 or 12 hours of something uh, in, in, in a week. So I was playing a lot uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, especially like how NPCs mm -hmm. work there and uh how traders and everything work there so we will uh, probably go uh in that direction uh i i it's really hard to say right now how complex these npcs will be uh at least in the first iteration but uh what i can promise is that we will definitely uh put everything on much higher level than what our competition has on the market which is you know uh something that we are doing all the time uh, in all our features, we are trying to be obviously the best in what we uh, provide to players and eventually make the best survival game, which is, you know, the final goal. One thing um, I've had a few people ask about, and um, uh, it's something I've uh, wondered about myself, is optimization of the game. Um, you know, with the lagging and um, uh, FPS drops and so on. Um, is there anything coming soon for that? Yeah, so we are optimizing the game constantly. Uh, I'm not a technical a guy, uh, so I'm not into that. Uh, like uh, I, I'm aware of things that are going, but I'm you know like proficient enough to tell you exactly what is going on, what are the problems. Um, the thing is that uh, we are currently we have increased the level by sixty percent, which is huge. Uh, Unreal Engine uh, is not built for this kind of level size, so. Uh, for example, uh, the ocean that was released in 4.26, which is great, work, works only uh, on 4 by 4 kilometers or 5 by 5 kilometers, which is something like a little bit bigger than one R1 sector. Uh, so uh, we, we need to do a lot of, uh, you know, uh, changes to Unreal Engine and everything uh, at the same time as we are doing features for the game, which is obviously time consuming. Now, regarding the optimizations, we did a lot of things regarding streaming. Uh, 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 it, and it was quite important 
because we couldn't have this much you know big level and uh, so many stuffs inside so many entities so many uh, I, I call it trash that people just spawn or, or craft or whatever you know they pile up mm -hmm. uh, garbage their private garbage they, they save in, the, in their bases so for months and and uh, and our we usually have wipes each six months which is huge if you if you compare it to rust or I'm, I'm not sure how daisy has wipes but you know rust has each couple of weeks maybe months and we have like uh, you know six to eight months uh, wipes and you you simply cannot imagine how many entities got gets uh, you know on the servers and everything so uh, the thing is that uh, this these things are pretty complicated and uh, are we are doing it all the time and we already have like reports that with, with the latest uh, updates that we did actually people get got really good performance uh, uh, and they don't have much issues uh, uh, unless the servers are really full with players. So this is something that uh, I, I know that uh, people with lower uh, specs uh, have issues, especially lower uh, low end GF uh, GFX cards have issues. Uh, but you know, with a little bit better uh, better uh, PCs, usually usually there are, there are not so much uh, issues with the game. The problem is with uh, uh, amount of players and how how server handles uh, full servers and sometimes in uh, uh, this like prime time situation uh, situations when many many uh, players join the server we have issues now uh, uh, we're still in the middle of development and uh, we're still like uh, uh, you know adding stuff to the game and the game is growing it it it, it grew for I believe like uh, uh, it started with 19 gigabytes and now it's 65. So mm -hmm. it grew a lot. It's it's it will probably have, have 100 gigabytes when when it gets to 1.0 version. So are you, are you not worried with all the extra stuff you're adding, like NPCs and leaving the map and that, that it's just going to become too much for a lot of lower end PCs? Uh, we're hoping no. <laughs> We're hoping. No, no, we will see. We will see. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah the thing is that uh, we are aware of what uh, what is costly uh, uh, regarding the performance, uh, and uh, the biggest issues what we have is currently uh, on the server side, as I, I, I was told. And uh, uh, we are planning to have one again, one major optimization regarding client and server because uh, that that as I was told, there was like. Uh, we didn't do any of that for last couple of months uh, when we, were, we, we got into uh, 0.5. Uh, we, we had all priorities that it has to be shipped in Q1 uh, this year. So we didn't do much regarding uh, a cleaning up uh, side, uh, cleaning up server side uh, and, and client side regarding stuff that are running in the background. Because, you know, if, if, you, if you're sort of shoveling you know features in the game then uh, uh obviously uh, you know you're piling up a huge amount of crap mm -hmm. that has to be cleaned out and uh you know all this all the all this kind of process processes are uh, you know um uh, iterational so uh, once we do a lot of features adding a lot of features then we are you know uh, in the next period of time certain amount of people are polishing them and removing unnecessary stuff so Gradually, you will see the improvements of the game, but still, if you're running at low end PC, you know, and the game is in, in development for, let's say, four years, I think that will be much. Uh, we should be uh, we should be released much faster in 1.1 uh, version, but still, in let's say three years, technology changes, Unreal Engine changes. Uh, we are open. Uh, it opens, uh, give us more opportunities to upgrade the game in, you know, many different ways. So uh, people should eventually invest in in a little bit better hardware, or you know, uh, the other options is that will basically uh, stop uh, upgrading uh, the game regarding, you know, uh, yeah. the visual from the visual side, which uh, we would like to avoid. Now we've got some questions. Um from the uh, promotional video I put out, um, and one that I'd heard um, a few times before. But um, the males can have tattoos. When are you going to add tattoos for the females? Uh, 
Uh, I I would uh, I would like to say soon, but unfortunately, uh, most likely not soon. But the, that's the bad news. The good news is that we are not uh, satisfied with how our females look uh, in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. they, most most of them look like you know uh, <laughs> males without the beard. But no, I'm joking. <laughs> you know, that, it's not like uh, it's not like that. But you know, uh, uh, the the way how we worked, we basically worked on the uh, male model with male skeleton and everything. And they're, they're kind of know, scary, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, they're not natural. So, uh, so if we, if we start adding stuff for females right now, uh, uh, if they start piling up uh, and it and we decide to change female models to be more feminine. You know, and not that muscular <laughs> as they are currently in the game. Then we will have to do it uh, again. So uh, instead of that, we decided, uh, and this, that was actually decided on the uh, uh, on Monday, that uh, we will de we will uh, go with uh, with the change of uh, female characters, uh, so that we finally have eventually. And this is this is a long process. This will not sorry take uh, just a couple of days. It will take months to create new models to, to create. New heads and everything, but what we ha what we would like to have, uh, an, at, let's say at the end of this year, are proper female characters in the game with you mm -hmm. know proper animations and everything, so that they are that they are not just like made from men. Although you know women are made from men from from rib, so I don't know, you know that's that's from you know Christianity. So <laughs> no, but we're not going in that direction. Uh, um, yeah, so so this this is the idea. Uh, all this, uh, all the all the clothes uh, and all tattoos and hats should will have to wait uh, up until we make a proper female model, which will eventually, I, I believe, come uh, uh, till the end of this year. Do you have any uh, more uh, designs coming along for bases, um, such as being able to put firing um, ports and um, different uh, st types of walls and so on? Any uh, variations coming there? Uh, yeah, uh, regarding the base building, uh, you will be able to. You you, you should expect uh, to uh, to upgrade the walls from metal to uh, brick walls, and then maybe concrete concrete walls. Uh, for these kind of things, mm -hmm. you will uh, have to go to specific areas yep, uh, on like the map, which, which just have you know bricks or cement uh, yeah, in the brick available. Factory, I think in the new update. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you uh, you will not be able to gather bricks in any other place than a brick factory. Uh, I like yeah. it. It's uh, a, it comes back to what I said before about you know there, there's there's so many different reasons with this map to have to go and travel and adding things like that just makes so much sense and yeah it creates places where people can choose to converge. It's not like you have to if you want to do a brick wall then you need to go to the brick factory. And if someone sees you're upgrading yeah. your base, then they know there's a good chance that you might go to the uh, brick factory. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the whole idea. That we sort of make if if people want to sort of uh, upgrade themselves as you know their characters or their bases, they will have to uh, you know not stay on the one place. They will have to go uh, somewhere and do something. So uh, this is this is one thing. Uh, this uh, this is uh, pretty much easy. To add, so uh, I believe that it will be rather quickly. The other thing is that what we were discussing are uh, fully customizable uh, houses. So you will not have like one fixed blueprint. Yep. Yeah, which is uh, which is something that a lot of people have requested, and I, I think that it makes sense. Uh, and the third thing is uh, building docks and uh, sort of these elements. Uh, that uh, will help you to, uh, you know, uh, protect your boats or, or, you know, stuff like that. And there are also some 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 ideas about building underwater, but uh, we'll 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 see about that. We'll let's go step by step. Speaking of boats, they're fantastic. I've been having a great time just <laughs> my, in my motorboat. Well done. Thank Frost you. Thank you. Yes, the, the, we still need to fix some things. We still need to, to fix some some things regarding cars, vehicles in general uh, that we uh, sort of left behind from 0.4, uh, like switching seats in cars and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. the, you know there are like still ways to uh, improve vehicles. Uh, our, we have plans to 
to add new vehicles uh, in a way that you will be able to, uh, you know, um, uh, um, sort sort of put them together uh, from different parts, put armor on it, uh, you know, mount uh, some sort of a heavy machine gun and stuff like that. But this is this is something that. Uh, it will take time and we still have like uh, more priority to put uh, first uh, motorcycles and and bikes in the game uh, first and then we will go with uh, uh, airborne uh, vehicles uh, so you can expect parachutes uh, gliders uh, oh, wing, uh yeah wingsuits uh and then we will see about I'm off the damn in a wingsuit i'm doing it <laughs> yeah. uh, then we then we will see about uh, helicopters and aircrafts uh, uh i i would That'd like to amazing. see them here, but they should be really really hard to acquire to to fuel up and and most likely they will be heavily protected by sentries so uh, it will. That's the idea because you know uh, people are scared of these kind of things. Uh, I had a conversation with a lot of people that you know think that uh, aircrafts or heavy, heavy uh, vehicles like tanks or armored vehicles shouldn't be in the game. I would like to have an option, but it should be really hard to acquire some. You know, like make operational tank. But if you do. If you like spend a couple of weeks to gather, uh, you know, ammunition, uh, I don't know, a couple of players who are capable to uh, to drive it, aim it, one commander. So if you have like something like that, then I don't mind that somebody drives the tank and destroys the whole base. You know, that's fine with me, but it will have to be difficult. And maybe, you know, at the same time, you have the company chasing you and sending drones that basically attack you because obviously company doesn't want to have a running tank right. from the island. Yeah, it has to be something OP like that. It definitely has, has to be, be very offset balanced. by some kind of cost. Yeah. It's yeah. Balancing so uh, balancing is something that we are constantly doing. Uh, balancing uh, is happening literally all the time. I, 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 on a daily basis, I hear people, you know, crying uh, to me like first. You have like people who, who who are building bases, you know, crying that you know getting into the base is too easy and that they spend too much time for building the base and everything. And then at the same time, I ha I, I I read cries from you know lock pickers and you know other guys that C4 is you know too difficult to acquire or maybe you know uh, that lock picking is too hard. And you know we're constantly like uh, balancing stuff and basically you know lock picking is a really good example of how how uh, much of depth in balancing we did in the last one year, although it's really simple game, uh, uh, mini game. The first thing was, you know, just add the plain lock. Then we, mm -hmm. then we added three different locks. Then uh, we added, uh, you know, for the regarding for the lock picking, we added three different lock picks, uh, you know, obviously skill levels, which define you uh, as a characters, you know, how difficult to is is for you to to pick lock which is you know fully uh, 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 sort of stretchable because uh, it's skill based so you more your lock pick uh, the better you get which is fully unique for scum and then we add tasers you know uh, you know just to make things a little bit complicated and then lock pickers argue then we added gloves so they basically can have a rubber gloves and protect themselves. But you know, if they're doing on the rain, then the gloves don't help. So you know, this kind of you know balancing was, uh, and and finally we have a crowbars, and we'll probably have another like uh, 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 tools that you will be able to use to open police lockers and these simple, more simple locks, not player locks. So eventually you can expect to have like. Uh, different type of locks maybe you know like this digit locks with with mm -hmm. uh, with special code but uh, uh, all these kind of things have to be uh, readable so uh, we cannot right. add things that other players cannot get through you know there has to be a way uh, how to you know uh, get into somebody's base and uh, you know for all people who are arguing uh, scum is not the game where you should be feel safe you know exactly. this is this, yeah, this is i'm glad if, to hear you say that 
that if, if you're looking for a safe game, then you, you should try PvE, playing it in PvE, you know, servers, uh, or maybe single player, although a single player will be a completely different story uh, than how it is today. But if it's like uh, vanilla PvP, uh, you know, this survival type, then uh, forget about being safe. There is no safe place in Scum. Even if, if you feel safe from, from players, we will make sure that NPC will feel you uncomfortable. So, you know, that's the whole point. The whole point is struggle and then uh, a reward that you get from the game if you if you survive. This is also quite important. We don't still we don't have it right now in the game. We have fame, which sort of works in, you know, in one way, uh, in a good way, but it also doesn't work in some other ways. So this kind of reward uh, will also be uh, eventually present in the game and which is quite important because people who play the game I want to compare each other uh, regarding something and uh, it will be something that we will we will also keep our focus on in the future what about map size is the map going to get bigger no most likely no uh, I, I think that we will now go uh, more, more than more than this i uh, more more I think that uh, most likely no, but we will definitely, uh, uh, especially on the new areas, uh, we will definitely fill it out more with uh, points of interest. This is something that our level designers will be doing in, in the following month, months up until the end of the year. So uh, uh, these new areas will not be uh, as empty as they are uh, currently, and you will have a lot of things to explore. I know that uh, from the perspective of uh, people who are playing scums have thousands of hours uh, 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 appreciate you know the the size of the map that has increased and they have new areas to explore but eventually they will learn everything about the map so uh, uh, you know they, they might still finding uh, find it like uh, I wouldn't say boring but you know well known uh, but the thing is that we are sort of building this game for people who uh, will play the game when it gets fully released on the 1.0 version. And the, the whole idea is that of this uh, early access is that we appreciate the journey, you know, that uh, we are taking with the game from, you know, early access to, to final release. Uh, uh, and that we sort of m are making the game together. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you know that people who have invested a lot of hours in the game are selfish. I just want to point out that uh, uh, they should consider themselves as a part of the team, as part of the of the development. And uh, we as developers, we are not building the game for you know ourselves. We are bu building the game for people that will eventually uh, uh, sort of uh, come later when the 1.0 is released and sort of, you know, see the games as we created it together. So I know that, uh, you know, uh, we will never be able to put so much content in the game so quickly that, uh, uh, you know, our hardcore players would be entertained, but that's not the point. The point is that when we finalize the game together, and when it finally comes out as a final version, then uh, we should be both sort of proud of the really fine and, and good product that we created together because new users, you know, will have something to experience uh, that uh, it's extraordinary. That's the whole point, if, so, if, you, if, you, if you understand. So with the map, yeah, um, we've got the in-game map which shows your location at the moment. We've got that turned off on this server. What are the plans for SCUM in that aspect? Is that going to be something you're going to have to find, like a GPS device or parts of the map? Or what's the plans in that aspect? Because that was one of the things that turned me off, uh, was yeah. how uh, easy navigation is when you've got the map and the red dots showing you exactly where you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will. We are planning to turn off the map completely. Uh, you will be able to uh, find several, uh, you know, uh, things that might help you to navigate. Uh, uh, maybe you know uh, parts of the map, map like sectors. Then you put the whole map together, mm -hmm. or GPS devices. Uh, so yeah, this is planned. Uh, definitely, we will. We will. We will. We will uh, remove the map completely. I like that. I like that. I don't know about you, Kerbo, but I like that. 
Oh, yeah, that's sure. uh, yeah, that, that's basically part of the survival. Uh, guys, I will have to leave. Uh, I, I already, uh, you know, a little bit uh, take, take, took it for a little bit too long. Uh, if you have just, you know, one question, uh, important one that I can answer, so so that we can uh, uh, wrap this up. You have anything from Chat Boydy? I, I'm good. I appreciate your time. I know you're a busy, busy guy. So thanks for coming and joining us. Metabolism. Sure. No oh, yeah. Uh, my, my, my. Uh, uh, I think uh, the, the question is when. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, the thing is that uh, metabolism is uh, currently number one priority. So we will uh, we will definitely push it uh, as fast as possible. Uh, we also uh, sort of because. Currently, we have a situation when uh, 0.5 has brought players a lot of content, uh, and we feel that, uh, let's say that we have some little bit more bonus time to add more stuff to Metabolism to, to make it more complete when it gets out, uh, because people have enough enough uh, content to be entertained for uh, following a month or two. So the idea is to uh, release con uh, Metabolism uh, as sort of next big update along with some other things. And we definitely are planning to add much more stuff uh, uh, that we sort of didn't didn't plan to, to add to the initial Metabolism. But yes, in the next big update, you can expect Metabolism to be the main thing, uh, 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 you know, the main and, uh, you know, the the thing that basically uh, uh, is all update uh, uh, made of uh, in general. I have one very, very I, quick I, question. Um, will we ever get to ride horses? Uh, sorry? Will we ever get to ride horses? Tame one and ride. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe one day. It's really hard to tell. Uh, uh, to tell horse, uh, I would also love to do that. Uh, I, I can tell you that uh, you will be able to tame animals and use them, and uh, you know, uh, and everything. Uh, we will see about horse riding. Uh, I, I believe that some basic horse riding could could be done. Uh, so, uh, personally, I would definitely love to have something more uh, like it's in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, but this is like a lot of work because this this was like uh, one of the main features for them uh, for the game. That and the snow. So, you know, uh, uh, I would love to see it, see it in the game. Uh, it was planned in the initial uh, game design document. Uh, we will see when it will be in the game. I cannot promise you that it will be 1.0 version, but, you know, eventually it might get in the game. Uh, so, someone just said in chat, imagine you can ride a bear to see everyone doing their best. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, Vladimir the, Putin. The, 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 yeah. Yeah, like uh, these are probably Russians who will, who will be uh, <laughs> Thank you so so much for uh, taking the time to talk to us. Um, we we both yeah, really appreciate it. Uh, Kerbo and I are both um, massive survival. You know, Kerbo probably more so than me. He's, he plays everything out there that you know, even whispers the word survival in it. Um, but um, you know. Nearly seven years I was playing Daisy, and this is the first game that's ever, uh, in that time, uh, managed to drag me away from it. So you, you're definitely doing something right. Thank you. Yep, you're doing Thank good you. work. Uh, guys, it was great. Uh, if if any of your you know like uh, listeners have any questions, they can reach me on Twitter. I will try to to you know answer all all the questions I get. Uh, just please don't. Don't submit bug reports to me because you know, I. <laughs> I, what's, I, the best, I what's the best I, way for people to lodge a bug report? While we've got well, everyone you know, watching. Uh, we we have we have like Discord, which is uh, the best place to report bugs. And uh, but I understand that you know when people have that uh, this. Uh, um, uh, when, when, the, when people see that somebody res, respond uh, responds res, respond to their questions, everything, then you know they have like channels, so they uh, they post bugs also. But the thing is that when I'm dealing with bug reporting, I basically just forward uh, their requests uh, to you know bug reports to our Q and A, uh, and our Q and A works uh, from Discord or uh, it picks up uh, picks, pick ups. Uh, 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 
bugs on on uh, on Steam community forums. So uh, uh, if if if, uh, if if people just use these channels, it will be uh, okay. And uh, you know, uh, this all uh, all these bugs uh, you know are getting noted down, and and eventually they'll get fixed. Yeah, they're very active on Steam, unlike a lot of games. So definitely head over to the Steam forums. I put in quite a few bug reports there and got a response pretty quickly. You got someone right. stripping off just as a side of you as well. Uh, he's taking his shirt off. I think he's going to make some moves on you in a sec. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking cute, is though. It, is it about to get weird, Woody? <laughs> Thank you once again, Thomas Love. I really do appreciate this, mate. Yeah, thank you, sir. Have a good, yeah. have a good day. Th thank you, guys. It was a pleasure. See you, guys. And thank See you to ya. our bodyguards um, for helping keep the event secure tonight. Thank you, guys. Bye. See ya. Now, so now someone has to kill him. Who wants to claim the kill? I think, he, I think he got him. I think he did. Thank you very much, Tom. Kerbe, you've got to get ready for going uh, off to work as well, don't you? I do. I've got kids getting ready to start school, and i got to get to work. So, no Thanks worries, for mate. the invite. Appreciate no, it. For, for, mate, I couldn't think of anyone better. Uh, you're someone I look up to a lot. Um, Kerbo has a YouTube channel. Um, Kerbo underscore, I believe it is. Oh. Yeah, that's my Twitch. <laughs> oh wow, I just, it's getting I just brutal in here as well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely check him out. Um, he's doing some really good uh, survival-focused um, scum videos, folks. If you like a more casual, laid-back um, uh, style of scum, then Kerbo is definitely your man. He's got a fantastic uh, narration voice, um, and he really gets uh, in depth on a game. So yeah. All the best, everyone. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. No worries, buddy. See you, folks.